Before I begin, I want to make a little statement. It's very simple. I believe we know it. Everybody can do it. And we do this almost every day. We buy things online. We hit a product. We hit the button underneath. We add it to the cart. We pay. And a few days later, we have it. It's simple. But have you ever bought a large exclusive piece of furniture? Something that you have really never seen before? Something where you're not even sure if it blends in with the rest of your house? I think that's very special. But what would it actually take to buy such an exclusive piece? What would it take to hit the button underneath the picture and buy it? I tell you, it takes a lot of trust. And that's what it's all about. It's about trust. My customers, they're not just buying one large piece of furniture. My customers, they buy a complete interior of a jet. And they trust in us. They trust in our products. My name is Simon Timler. I'm working for Jet Aviation since over 12 years as an interior designer. And we are providing this service of interiors since 1977. We are specialized in customizing aircrafts for individual customers. In the world, we have about 43 sites and the completions are done at our headquarters in Basel, Switzerland. Over here we have about 1,500 employees and uh, we do pretty much everything in-house, hand in hand. We not just project manage. We design, we engineer, we produce, install, test and certify interiors. Now, when I ask you, who would you trust the most? Usually, it's family and friends. In a jet aviation, we are a one big family. And the customer is our friend. And between us, there's a very strong trust relationship. It's like a friendship. And it's an integral part of such a completion project you can't really quantify it. It's, it's really hard to put a number behind. But it certainly, yes, it has a direct impact on the financial aspects. And, well, you can also, a little bit, you can measure it. You can measure it with the success of a project. And for this trust relationship, we have three very important key building blocks. That's listening, it's communication and it's reliability. And these three killing blocks, I'm going to show you a few slides later on, you can kind of transfer also to the entire process for this uh, interior completion. But why are customers coming to us in the first place? I mean, especially new customers. They come to us because we have a really huge heritage. We have done over 213 interiors since over 40 years. We have, give a little idea, performed last year 14,500 different maintenance projects. That is really a significant number. And we are well known in this niche business. That's why people come to us. So let's look at the first part, that's listening. Um, I think this listening is very important because we have to understand the wishes from our customers. We have to care about their wishes. Sometimes they're crazy, of course. But we need to really listen to them very closely. We need to read between the lines of what they want. Usually the customers in the beginning, they know, they have an idea. 
They know where they want to fly from. They have an idea that they want the latest and greatest satellite system. They know they want the biggest TV, how many packs. They have an idea. But what they don't know is what they like. And that's very difficult. And this is this emotional part when it, when it becomes complex and where we need to listen. In the beginning of this creative phase, we have an empty floor plan, we add rooms, we then add little sketches to it, we give each of the room sketches a material, then we give a color direction, and finally we end up with a computer rendering. It's all kind of under control for that phase, but sometimes customers come to us and they have a really crazy wish. And what you do when you have a challenge? I think you take the challenge, you don't say no, and then what you do, you listen, because then you get your customer on board. You take it serious, you try to transfer it into something that is kind of possible. Imagine a fireplace. How crazy is a fireplace? But don't limit yourself. You can provide the visual of a fire. You can provide sound over the loudspeakers, crackling noises from the fire. You can provide even a heat source. There are ways of touching the human senses. And you can come close to it and you can fulfill the wish, the idea that a customer has. Maybe he just wants to have a cozy place. And what you do then? You change the cozy place. You can turn it even into a comfortable cinema lounge. No problem. Don't limit yourself. That is the message. It's very important. You get your customer on board, but don't limit yourself. Uh, we had sometimes really crazy wishes, also in regards to materials. And we have a lot of material. We have 20,000 fabrics on site in the library. We have about 200 species of wood and unlimited choices for leather. And if a customer comes along and says, I would like to have a cabinet in Stingray, I'd say, no problem. You can have your cabinet in Stingray. You can even have some horn finish on top. That is important. Don't limit yourself. And when we have everything settled more or less with our customers, we lay out all the stuff on the floor or on the table. We put all the materials there and we, you know, we have an open discussion. And again, we then we listen and we come close to what they want. And sometimes, of course, customers have difficulties to imagine the space on an aircraft. And even then, what we do, we build it one-to-one -one in styrofoam, 85 meters in styrofoam, that is certainly impressive. But at that time, we know customers are coming to us. They're coming to JET. And that kind of leads me to the next phase. It's the development phase. And even in that phase, you need to communicate. It's very important. Communicate with your customer. Open, transparent, and ideally constant all the time. We had a customer who would, love to, who would love to have a star ceiling. So there was a lot of communication. We involved him into the engineering development phase because there were requirements. And when you explain them, this is what it is, what can we do to make the best out of it, you, you get them on board. They're, they're, they will listen. They will understand because you communicate. You'll be transparent. And even this gives you a chance to sell a few stars on top, that's what we've done on this project. So the customer can have it random. So there are opportunities. I'll give you another one. We had a customer with a wish of um, freestanding furniture in an aircraft. I mean, a flying vehicle, freestanding furniture. Well, but you can do something about it. And we took the customer on board, we involved him in the engineering phase, we showed them, listen, there are floor attachments, you have to respect them. So we developed it all in 3D with the engineer and with the customer and finally we end up with a beautiful piece, with a beautiful cabinet that had the characteristic 
of something freestanding. What we've done, we did a little optical illusion at the bottom. And it was enough. And we had a very happy customer that was confident to let us develop the rest on our own. But it was not always that easy. Ten years ago, we really had difficulties in the company. We were late in schedules. We had a weak change management. But we learned from this. We were working hard, and what we've learned, let's get transparent, let's communicate more. Let's open the doors to the customer, involve him. And you have to imagine, you have a $40 million interior. It's really expensive. It's like 444 Lincoln Navigators, 2,090 models. It's a lot of money. And now you approach your customer and ask for approval when you change an $80 soap dispenser from a stainless steel to a chrome finish. That's what makes trust. But the customer, they're not just trusting in our process. They also trust in our products. And that leads me to the next topic, this third key element. It's reliability. And when I talk about reliability, we see this on one side on the product, but also towards our customers. Let's have a look on the product side first. Here we really try to build the best pieces you can find. We are very, very ambitious to meet or exceed the customer expectation. That's important. We have the best craftsmanship people. Everything is absolutely a one-off. It's handmade, all under one roof. And once everything gets assembled, you will not find a single finger mark. They are spotless. And when we get all these beautiful pieces set up in front of the aircraft, even then we have a visual inspection by a customer and his acceptance. And then we put them on board, we test them over and over, just to ensure that everything is perfect. But also, when it comes to reliability towards our customers, it's important to stick to our word and to be perfect. And especially this one is very important. We have to be very, very confidential. We know a lot about our customers. And it's so important to keep everything that we know just for us. Usually I say, what happens in JET stays in JET, and that is very important. To be confidential is our business. And I just would like to look at these three key elements again. For us, they are a success. Maybe they are also for your customers a success. We found these for us as the best. It's listening and you, you get your customer on board. It's the communication, and you gain the freedom where you need it, and it's reliability to foster this trust relation. And now I'll give you a little sneak preview of our last uh, design concept we have done at Jet Aviation. It's a 777X from Boeing. I'm very proud of this one. And I say thank you.